the ultimate testing range. I filled my belly with all kinds of snacks. The strongest creatures are the tastiest. Except that ultimate weapon-like one, it was barely edible. This is Louie <laughs> making these logs now. Uh, I forgot that Louie has a penchant for eating everything that he can get his hands on. <laughs> so they suggest white and flying, but I only have 34 of those, so they gave me a bunch of reds as well. Okay. When we come back to the hearth, let's see. I need to get the bag, ah, but I can't push the bag unless I have the fire. That one guy, I could either only kill him by attacking him from the front, or I could wait until I have a way to get fire pigment over to him. It's going to be one or the other. That guy is poisonous. I can, I can already tell by his color. You know, I can probably kill him faster with red pigment, though. Yep, that, that was faster. Oh, there's another spider. Alright, you guys come back. Okay, let's take this elevator across. Like, I get that they want me to use, like, the poison Pikmin. Because it's a poison enemy, but I can just pull them back. And problem solved. Kind of annoying. Get me some more pink Pikmin. I'll let those guys bloom. like a lot of uh, material for a bridge that I don't need. Although somebody was uh, somebody was telling me to build bridges for a, uh, a task, I'm pretty sure. So talented. Okay. That's all. There's a couple of idle ones over there, but they'll co they'll come join me. Next floor.
five floors on this one. That is more than I expected. I also just remembered that this is called the ultimate testing range. I'm scared. Two rescues and only nine more treasures. Is that a watery blowhog? It looks kind of purple. Shoot at me, I want to know what you actually shoot. It is water. I guess I just lost some Pikmin somehow. Well, that was a pit over there, so <laughs> that's probably how. Hello there. Uh, do you guys even have a way of getting back? I'm not sure you do. Alright, more white Pikmin. Can you guys take that that air jet and get out of here alive? No. Maybe it has to be. Why are there red Pikmin? I don't understand why these red Pikmin are not, are not getting off. I need to find wherever the button is that'll lower the the fences. I think this guy is currently a bigger threat than Mr. T uh, tusk. Not it's not a tusk, trunk. It's a trunk. Let's see here. This does not appear to be what I am looking for. Maybe it's over there, actually. Interesting, we got a bomb. This is what I was looking for. Iron fence is lowered. It means everything can start getting collected. my Pikmin. Alright. Should have thought about this. through here. 
Ah, it's a, it's a Switch Joy-Con. Got all the treasure. A little, uh, a little sloppier than I would have liked, not going to lie. I feel like I'm rushing, and I don't know why I'm rushing. I have no reason to be rushing. I'm having a great time. One of the nicer things about the wider camera angle is that you can almost always See Bob while he's laying here with me. Isn't that right, boy? He's napping. He's waiting for me to get done here and go lay on the couch so that he can then lay on me. There's a castaway here. Hello there. You just got wrecked. Let's see, should I throw pinks at this? Okay. That guy is on the other side. Oh, that's a trick, is you have to be on a specific side. Okay. Um, right, okay. I guess I can go in here. Puffy Blowhog. Time to take him out. Oh, he's dead, actually. I, was at, I thought he was about to knock all my Pikmin off. For the bubbles to finish. Kill the spider as soon as I can. Easy as pie. Kill this spider as fast as I can. Okay, got another one of these sleeping guys. <laughs> it's kind of a funny death animation. are being carried off. There's another one over there. I feel like I should replenish my supply of Pikmin before I cross over and continue. Ah, oh, it's going to leave on me, isn't it? Typical. I wonder what happens if I fall off into the void. What? Joy-Con, that was, that was not an invitation for you to start drifting so that we could test and find out. Alright, there's the exit.
Unfortunately, I'll have to go through here without Ochi. can still tell everybody to charge. One singular pink Pikmin to carry him. That should be everything. I'm gonna check the Leafling's ID. Maybe this time I'll get lucky. No such luck. Because you still hold out hope that you'll one day get it. How is it that the flying one is the slowest one to, to get back here? Okay, that's all the Pikmin. That's all the treasure. Now then, assuming I can get these Pikmin off here without them being dumb and dying, Nope, two of them just fell, so no, they are dumb. <laughs> they are indeed dumb. I miss in like the other Pikmin games, you would have like the C stick that would let you kind of corral the Pikmin and move them like, you know, tell them to line up, form up, push them to one side or another. I miss having that level of control over them. That was that was fun to me. And now all I have is Ochi gathering them all at one place, which doesn't turn them into this massive mob army anymore. Imagine I just left now. I'm just like, nope, see ya. I can go, I can go down to the next floor right now if I wanted to. Okay. Dramatic. Um... These guys can carry elves. Oh, interesting. I need to make that bridge over here. I need to build this bridge over here. Oh. Big pinky. Got it. Uh, we're gonna come back and replenish my Pikmin supply. Mostly of pinks because they can go across these uh, <coughs> conveyors without trouble.
I don't know why he didn't do his suck attack. His suffering suck attack. No, nothing. Ah, the material went onto the void. Pikmin carry everything because of the conveyor belts. How many pink Pikmin? do I need to, to do this bridge? I got enough. I can probably work on this. Killing this guy while uh, I wait for them to do that. Nope. I may have just made a very grave error. Oh, they do die if, after being in there long enough. I was worried. They do, in fact, uh, perish. I, I just stopped those guys from getting pulled in. Hands getting tired from throwing so fast. Uh, I've lost a whole bunch of my my reds though. This is sad. I'm, I mean, technically they said I didn't need reds for the for this one, but I, any more candy pop bulbs, and I can't really take advantage of them. I feel like that treasure gauge turned off really fast. Alright. I've managed to kill off almost all of my red Pikmin. This is great! Ow! <laughs> just, just smacked my hand into my desk while I was trying to gesture about how great everything is. I'm smooth. As long as there's no more than one candy pop bulb on this floor, though, I can take advantage of it. Huh? There must be a castaway nearby. Hmm. 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 I like how all of them are ignoring the, the nectar I'm throwing them at. All right. 
Why don't you guys just let me bash the wall down? These guys really are weak. Although, I'm looking at the boss. It looks like it's some kind of, like, clockwork spider of some form. Maybe I should... Ah, oh, it's a GameCube controller. Maybe I shouldn't be destroying all these walls. They might actually be useful to me. I think like all of my Pikmin are now flower Pikmin. So let's just see how bad this is. Bam! Nice! Do it! He's shooting. He's shooting at me now. Alright, is that all that this fight is going to be? It's just him shooting at me. Ah! He paused. <laughs> Threw me off. Yep, alright. If that's the case, this is going to be a very uh, repetitive fight. Throw Pikmin as fast as I can! The red ones are the ones I need to prioritize getting on there. Really engaging boss design here. I'm doing great. All right, one more, one more barrage of bullets. That's the exit over there. Where's my GameCube controller? Valuable treasure. What is that extension on the bottom of it? I think I recall seeing that before, but I don't know if I ever actually had one. Not like a rumble pack, is it? Let's check their ID badge. Don Bergman, an ex-ranger who followed rumors of treasure to this planet. He'll use the profits to help the starving back in his homeland. Huzzah! It's a copyright castaway. Let's hope he has information regarding Nell's whereabouts. You found a copyright. It isn't Nell, but I hope he can at least help us find her. Let's see what we can learn after he wakes up. We got all 76 of our survivors. <laughs> you know, in the grand scheme of things, 76 survivors is pretty good. All right, that nectar's used up. And I think the majority of the uh, casualties were reds, from what I could tell. 
I would I would assume that I have far more pinks and whites than I did going into this. Lots of treasure. 100% nailed it. Let's see how many I lost 24. It was only reds. Okay. <laughs> well, the pinks can't really get thrown into the void. <laughs> oh god. Let me just let me just shut up for a second. I woke up pumpkin. I can see her staring at me now. Was my hiccup disturbing to your nap cat? At least I have my emotional support cat here to keep me company. Right, Bob? You'll support me in all my trying times. Alright. Um, there's still quite a bit to do. Although this map is might be a little smaller than I thought. So, my next goals will be... I gotta find the fire. You'd think the fire would be somewhere in the, the fireplace over here, so maybe I'll break this wall down and head that way next and see if that can lead me to what I need. Finding the fire is going to be the priority because that's going to unlock, like, everything on this map. Pure nostalgia to me. I love that. Call me cringe if you like, I don't care. Sticks and stones, love, they mean nothing to me. So we found a copite. That Don Bergman guy, I don't think is one of the protagonists from the third game. But to be fair, I don't remember any of the protagonists from the third game. Pikmin 3 protagonists. Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. Okay. That is, that is none of them. Birdie bed. And we got the bedtime series. Nice. I'm just going to skip through that so that I can read things faster. The stately rubber cutie, the anxious sprout, the slapstick crescent, long shot totem, sphere of trust, relentless spear, straight and narrow track, telekinesis detector, heart sword, sphere of heart. Disc of Surprising Wisdom, Memory Fragment, Right Edge, Winged Freedom Sculpture, and more nuggets. Okay. Not bad. How's that cop I ate doing? The one we just rescued. We deactivated the forced sleep mode on his spacesuit. The doctor's with him now. Okay, then I'll save my questions about Nell for tomorrow. 